I wanted to bring you a little subject today and talk about stretching yourself, stretching yourself. So I'm going to check my calendar and I want to tell you a little bit about what I did uh, today here. So started early this morning with having the restoration company that's working on getting this house back and organized from this boiler little fire situation that started first thing in the morning. And then I wanted to see if I could stretch myself on speaking and being able to do a whole bunch of talks in one day and see how many people I would be able to impact in this period of time. So that started at 1130. So 1130 to 1230, I was on a really, really great podcast. It was super fun. We talked about, you're going to want to listen to this podcast. We talked about all kinds of amazing stuff about life and mindset and shifting and change and progress. And then from there, I went on at one o'clock and I did a talk to a friend of mine's group of a whole bunch of people. And we talked about case study and a case study is all the things I learned from growing multiple companies, selling multiple companies, and, and really what have I done? Like, what did I do throughout my life that helped forged and created these things? And what would I do again? So I was able to do that from one to 2.30. Then there was very little time. There was like a five minute window. I then jumped on from 2.30 to like 3.45. And I did another talk for a whole bunch of really cool people in, uh, a lot of them were in the UK. So then I did that. And then I ended uh, right from 345. It went a little over. I had like a really quick 20 minute window to uh, get a snack and stuff. And then from there, I did another talk for a whole bunch of people in Australia, all different groups, all kinds of people, all niches, industries, walks of life, people. And it was all about life stuff, right? It was all about, you know, how people focus on the business side of things, but they forget about the other nine tenths of a life wheel. They forget about everything else. And one of the examples that I was sharing with everybody, and maybe you'll do it with me too, like, and it doesn't matter if you have a business or career, is when you have a problem in your relationship, do you think about your job? Do you think about your business? No, you don't. When you have a problem with your health, are you worried about the business or you're focused on your health? And so if you look at all those other aspects and you focus on them, just doing those, uh, a byproduct of it, the business is really easy to grow, right? Want it 10X anything, 20X, 20X yourself. And so, but my message today was like, where, like, how are you stretching yourself? You know, and when I look at stretching, I look at the ability, it's almost like lifting weight, right? Like when you start lifting weights, how does, how does muscle build? Muscle builds because you got to tear it a little bit. Now you want to tear it, you don't want to rip it, right? Like if you rip a muscle, now the thing is just fatigued, it's broken, and you got to like get it all fixed up. Now, if you just get the little, little tears in it, then what happens is, it grows and it grows stronger. So my question is, where are you backing off a little too soon and not letting yourself just tear those things a little bit, stretch yourself a little bit so the muscles can carry you forward further? But let me teach you one of the lessons that I was talking about today. And a lot of people talk about consistency. And you've heard this before, right? You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. And what I want you to think about is not consistency as doing the same thing. Because let's go back to the weight analogy, okay? Now, if we take a 10-pound weight, okay, so you're like, Mike, you could at least do 25. Okay, a 25-pound weight. And you put it in your hands and you start lifting a 25-pound weight. Eventually, the 25-pound weight, you're going to be very consistent. It's going to get easier. My question is, if I keep lifting the 25 pound weight, will my muscle grow like, like, will it grow this big or this? Like, how big does it grow? Well, there's a point it won't grow no more, but I've been very consistent 
with it, right? I'm consistent with 25 pounds, 25 pounds. See, you have to consistently change things. So if I go from 25 to 30 pounds to 40 to 50, or, or instead of going this way, I modify the weights in different ways. Now with consistent change, I can get an improved result. It's always interesting to me how many people share these concepts of things. And, and when you think about it, they're telling you one thing, but the one thing they're telling you is not really the thing you need. It's, it's not the thing that's really going to get you to change. But because the masses are saying it to you, you go, well, it, it, it must be correct because the masses are saying it to me. So my challenge for you is where, where can you stretch yourself a little bit? And where can you create little differences of consistent change in your life so that you get more life results and then you'll get every other result you want? So that's what I wanted to bring to you tonight. Keep an eye out if you're not in our uh, new group, which is Personal Growth and Mindset Mastery, then make sure you ask me and we'll put it in the in the chat there so you could join it. we got so much cool stuff coming up. Have an amazing day. And remember, it's okay to stretch yourself. You'll become stronger this way. Boom.